And once again, Los Angeles Chargers fans are left wondering what, what the hell happened. What the hell happened? We spoke to Brandon Staley before the season, and I asked him a question I knew he couldn't have the answer to. I knew it. But he gave a good answer to it. It was like, how are you going to fix all the crazy stuff that seems to happen to Chargers for, for, for Chargers fans and fix the stuff that happens to the Chargers at the end of games? How are you going to fix that? And he said, you're going to have to have a plan just coming in. You're going to have to have a plan coming in and then uh, have a plan for when adversity hits, and then you're going to have to have a plan for, um, for the end of a game. And in terms of the end of the game, you know, even though the Chiefs scored late to tie it, the, uh, the Chargers still had some time left on the clock. The Chargers, when they fell down 20, uh, uh, when, they, when, they, when the game was tied, uh, they, they got the ball back uh, on the other end of the two-minute warning with some time left and some timeouts yep. and wound up punting for the first time in the game. And which led to just another bizarre moment, which is Kansas City taking a knee instead of letting Mahomes wing it down the field for a Hail Mary walk-off. Uh, that was weird. Just another one of the many weird moments of last night. But the Chargers had a game where they could have won it at home, not only to set up a game-winning field goal, but all the field goals they turned down to go it on fourth down. And interestingly enough, that was Brandon Staley's plan going into the game, not settling for field goals, going for it on touch for touchdowns against the Kansas City Chiefs team that normally you have to score touchdowns instead of selling for field goals. And the alternate irony, the O. Henry-like twist, is that the field goals actually would have helped them beat this Kansas City Chiefs team. This is what Brandon Staley had to say after the game last night. It's life in the NFL. When, in decision making like that. And I think that from where my mindset is, is that I know that the quickest way to win a game like that is to score touchdowns, not field goals, especially considering who's on the other side. And to me, when you feel like you're in an advantage situation, when you don't feel like it's a gamble, when you feel like this is an advantage for you, then that's going to be our mindset. Okay. And I don't think that any decision that we made tonight, I made tonight was a gamble. We felt like it was an advantage situation for us, and that's why we did it. If we didn't feel like that was the case, then we would have kicked a field goal or we would have punted. And um, that's the way we're going to do things around here. And, uh, you know, I know that our team uh, embraces that mindset, and uh, we're going to continue to do it every game we play moving forward. You know, so you take a look at it. They get a big um, kickoff to start the game, return, and then didn't score And as – Staley pointed out, too, like he threw one to Parham and it was a perfect play call and something rare and awful happened. What is it? I can't blame him, I guess, starting the game, that big kickoff and like, okay, three and out after that, let's just kick the field goal. Let's take some points to start. Yeah, that, seemed, it off to that would have been just deflating. Right. And then the next yeah. one, right before the end of the half, you know, do you take the three and go in and then you're going up four? knowing the Chiefs get the ball to start the second half? Right. Or do you just jam it down their throat and you're going to take a 21-13 lead in the locker room and tell Andy Reid, choke on that at halftime as you're coming up with your adjustments? That's another one of those. But then after the Chiefs, pardon me, it would, it would have been a, a – uh, uh, it was 14-10 right before halftime. Yeah, it would have been so you're take, you could take it a touchdown lead. That, that one I'm thinking about, like – Maybe do you do that, or do you just tell them, we're up two scores, choke on that, Andy? You know? And then the other one is the, the, the Chiefs kick a field goal to start the, the second half, and, and the Chargers go down the field again, and that's the one I would have taken the three on. I would have taken the three to go, okay, you started with a field goal, I'm getting the field goal back, let's go. Yeah. You know, defensively, we, 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 we feel – we feel confident, although Derwin James was out too. You got to make the concept like they're going to score points, as Staley said after the game. Their secondary was hollowed out. Like I, I'm not going to come on and just 2020 hindsight and kick, kick the coach here. No, 2020 you can, there, hindsight. There's an like, absolute I'm putting case him in for the every, moment. Yeah, for but every there move, also does but. have to be a moment where it's just like, okay, I know the success of this fourth down operation is going to lead us 
to a real spot of bravado here. But the three gives us points on the board that we may need down the road. You got to take the long view instead of living in the moment of like, yeah, momentum boost. Right. That third one is the one I would have, I would have counseled him. Kick it, man. Just kick it. Go up four, play the rest of the game. Let's go. Get the points back you just gave up. That's it. You're dormy. Second half right now. You're, you're, you're even, Steven. Because, man, those three would have really been helpful down the end of the game. Yeah. Because instead of trying to get that first. Minutes. Right. Instead of trying to yeah. get in field goal position, you're just trying to run out clock. Run out clock, yeah. I think that would have. And the run game was gashing them the whole was. night with Chris Jones out. Good like, God, it was. You know? And you could see, like, on the Kelsey plays at the oh, end, not having man. Derwin James there in the middle was just devastating. So, you know, in retrospect, I think what last night cost the Chargers was an ability to p- print a playoff ticket for the home fans and their yeah. air raid sirens and the screaming and yelling, you know, dudes, oh, Chargers fans, get on your feet. I mean, good Lord, Chargers, do you have to? I mean, you could hear it through the television set. I've been a couple of these games, too. <laughs> Get on your feet, scream, yell, all that oh, business. There was a lot of red. So I, I know so there was. but night. So I think the Chargers cost themselves a home playoff game. Feels like it. Last night. But they're 8-6. and six. They have I mean, some standout players. Yeah, I think they are. Team, they're but... against the Houston Texans after this mini-buy. That's nine and six. They're going to play a playoff game, and Justin Herbert's coming to your town, and that's going to be a problem for somebody to deal with. Can they beat him? Of course they can. But if you take a look at the um, at the AFC standings right now, and Daniel Jeremiah, who calls the games for the Chargers locally on the radio here, is about to join us. The Ravens right now, third straight practice without Lamar Jackson. It's possible they fall to eight and six because the Packers are coming to town. And, you know, it's entirely possible the Chargers could go visit the Browns or the Bengals, who they've already beaten, right? Or the Ravens, uh, I, who, who curb stomped the Chargers earlier this year. But there were a different team then. I'm not counting the Chargers out from winning a playoff game, but last night really hurt them in terms of getting someone into their house and going on a run. They would have been 9-5 and five, sitting there, they they'd be nine and five sitting in the in the fourth seed, you know, right now, or the third seed right now. They'd be nine and five, sitting in the third seed, and instead they're just looking at the the, the number three. All those times over, that they turned down, and then the one three that they wanted to get, and had a chance to get, they punted. Their only time of the game, they punted, and then Mahomes. They won the toss. Tails never fails, I guess. And then Kelsey, how good is he after the catch, man? He and Hill are yak kings. <laughs> and then Mahomes extends a play. And when he extends a play and doesn't make the mistake, it's 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 the, the only team that be you'd say like that are, are the Packers because of what Rodgers can do. That's it. Extending the play and just running around and and you're in trouble. Certainly if you're injured on the back end. That's my take on Thursday Night Football. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.